the holy bible the king james version joshua chapters 11 to 21 chapter 11 and it came to pass when jabin king of hazor had heard those things that he sent to jobab king of madon and to the king of shimron and to the king of Agshaf, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Chinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east, and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Ermon, in the land of Mizpeh, and they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Merom to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, be not afraid because of them, for to-morrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt huff their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Merom suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto misrephoth Maim, and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward. And they smote them, until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He huffed their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe, and he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But... As for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only, that did Joshua burn. And all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same, even from the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, even unto Balgad in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle, for it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, 
that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle, for it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Joshua took the whole land according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Chapter 12 Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land, on the other side Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Eroer, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Chinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshimoth, and from the south under Ashdoth Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Idre, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salca, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Jeshurites and the Machathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite, and Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan, on the west, from Balgad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions, in the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Parasites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, the king of Jericho, one, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one, the king of Jerusalem, one, the king of Hebron, one, the king of Jarmuth, one, the king of Lachish, one, the king of Eglon, one, the king of Gezer, one, the king of Debir, one, the king of Geder, one, the king of Hormah, one, the king of Arad, one, the king of Libna, one, the king of Adullam, one, the king of Makeda, one, the king of Bethel, one, the king of Tapua, one, the king of Hefer, one, the king of Aphek, one, 
the king of Lasheron, one, the king of Madon, one, the king of Hazor, one, the king of Shimron Meron, one, the king of Akshaf, one, the king of Tanak, one, the king of Shimron Meron, one, the king of Akshaf, one, the king of Tanak, one, the king of Megiddo, one, the king of Kadesh, one, the king of Jachnian of Carmel, one, the king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one, the king of the nations of Gilgal, one, the king of Tirzah, one, all the kings, thirty and one. Chapter 13 Now Joshua was old and stricken in years, and the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth. All the borders of the Philistines, and all Jeshurai, from Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron, northward, which is counted to the Canaanite, five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, and the Ashtathites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Mira, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites, and the land of the Gidelites, and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising, from Balgad under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamoth. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Misrephoth Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. From Eroir, that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Mediba unto Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Cheshurites, and the Machathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan, unto Salca, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and in Idri, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite, and cast them out. Nevertheless the children of Israel expelled not the Cheshurites, nor the Machathites, but the Jeshurites and the Machathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribes of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Eror, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain by Mediba, Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and bemoth Baal, and beth Baalmeon, and Jehaza, and Kedemoth, and Mephath, and Kirjathim, and Saibma, and Zareth-Shahar, in the mount of the valley, 
and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jashimoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword, among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities, and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto Eror, that is before Reba, and from Heshbon unto Ramath Mizpeh, and Betonim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon. The rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Chinnereth, on the other side Jordan eastward, this is the inheritance of the children of Gad, after their families, the cities and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh, by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, three score cities, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Idre, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Mekir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Mekir, by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Chapter 14 and these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, distributed for inheritance to them. By lot was their inheritance, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses, for the nine tribes and for the half-tribe, for Moses had given the inheritance of two tribes, and an half-tribe on the other side Jordan. But unto the Levites he gave none inheritance among them. For the children of Joseph were two tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. Therefore they gave no part unto the Levites in the land, save cities to dwell in, with their suburbs for their cattle, and for their substance. As the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did, and they divided the land. Then the children of Judah came unto Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadesh Barnea? Forty years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to espy out the land, and I brought him word again as it was in mine heart. Nevertheless, 
my brethren that went up with me, made the heart of the people melt. But I wholly followed the Lord my God, and Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the land whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance, and thy children's for ever, because thou hast wholly followed the Lord my God. And now, behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now, lo, I am this day fourscore and five years old. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now, for war both to go out and to come in. Now therefore give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in the day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be, the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. And Joshua blessed him, and gave unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh Hebron for an inheritance. Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, unto this day because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. And the name of Hebron before was Kirjath Arba, which Arba was a great man among the Anakims. And the land had rest from war. Chapter 15 This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin southward, was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea, from the bay that looketh southward, and it went out to the south side to Malehakribim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. Go back. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast, and the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of beth Haraba, And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Debir from the valley of Achor and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is, before the going up to Adumim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out, therefore, were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom, unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Bela, which is kirjath Jearim. And the border compassed from Bela, westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerum, which is Cheselon, on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron, northward, 
and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Bela, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah, round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua. Even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Sheshai and Ahimam and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was kirjath -sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth kirjath -sefer and taketh it, to him I will give Aixa, my daughter, to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it. And he gave him Aixa, his daughter, to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs, and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom southward, were Kabzil, and Eder, and Jagur, and Kaina, and Daimona, and Adeda, and Kadesh, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telem, and Beeloth, and Hazor, Hadeta, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amam, and Shema, and Molida, and Hazargada, and Heshman, and Bethpalet, and Hazar Shual, and Beersheba, and Bizjothja, Bela, and Iam, and Azam, and Eltolad, and Chisil, and Horma, and Zyklag, and Madmena, and Sainsana, and Lebaoth, and Shilhim, and Ain, and Remon. All the cities are twenty and nine, with their villages. And in the valley, Eshteol, and Zoria, and Eshna, and Zenoa, and Engenim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Soko, and Azeka, and Sherem, and Adithim, and Gidera, and Gidorothaim, fourteen cities with their villages. Zenon, and Hadesha, and Migdalgad, and Dilian, and Mizpah, and Jokthil, Lachish, and Bosketh, and Eglon, and Cabon, and Lamam, and Kaithlish, and Gedaroth, Beth Dagon, and Nema, and Makida, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jiptha, and Ashna, and Nezib, and Kalan, and Akzib, and Merisha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages. From Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt and the great sea and the border thereof. And in the mountains Shamir, and Chetir, and Soko, and Dana, and Kirjath-sana, 
which is Debir, and Anab, and Eshtimo, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages. Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Janum, and Bethtapua, and Apheka, and Humta, and Kijarthaba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages, Maon, Carmel, and Zaif, and Jetta, and Jezreel, and Jokdeam, and Zanoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten cities with their villages, Halehul, Bethzur, and Gidor, and Merath, and Bethanoth, and Eltikon, six cities with their villages, Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jerm, and Reba, two cities with their villages, in the wilderness, Beth Harapa, Maiden, and Sekaka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and En Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16 And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Archai, to Ataroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhletai, unto the coast of Bethhoron, the nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Anasi, and Ephraim took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Atarothadar, unto Beth Horon, the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michmetha, on the north side. And the border went about eastward unto Tanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east to Janoha. And it went down from Janoha to Ataroth, and to Narath, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua, westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. And the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwell in Gezer. But the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day and serve under tribute. Chapter 17 There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Machir was the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore he had Gilead and Bashan, there was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Ebiezer, and for the children of Helek, and for the children of Azrael, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Mehilah, and Noah, and Hogla, and Milcah, and Tirzah. 
and they came near before Eliezer the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmetha, that lieth before Shechem. And the border went along the right hand unto the inhabitants of Entapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua. But Tapua, on the border of Manasseh, belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar, and in Asher, Beth Shean, and her towns, and Ebliam, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanak, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo, and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot, and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites, and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are our... Uh, 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 both they who are of Beth Sheen and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and thou hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine, for thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there. And the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, 
how long are ye slack to go to possess the land which the lord of your fathers hath given you give out from among you three men for each tribe and i will send them and they shall rise and go through the land and describe it according to the inheritance of them and they shall come again to me and they shall divide it into seven parts judah shall abide in their coast on the south and the house of joseph shall abide in their coasts on the north ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts and bring the description hither to me that i may cast lots for you here before the lord our god but the levites have no part among you for the priesthood of the lord is their inheritance and gad and reuben and the half tribe of manasseh have received their inheritance beyond jordan on the east which moses the servant of the lord gave them and the men arose and went away and joshua charged them that went to describe the land saying go and walk through the land and describe it and come again to me that i may here cast lots for you before the lord in shiloh and the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities into seven parts in a book and came again to joshua to the host at shiloh and joshua cast lots for them in shiloh before the lord and there joshua divided the land unto the children of israel according to their divisions and the lot of the tribe of the children of benjamin came up according to their families and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of judah and the children of joseph and their border on the north side was from jordan and the border went up to the side of jericho on the north side and went up through the mountains westward and the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of bethaven and the border went over from thence toward luz to the side of luz which is bethel southward and on the border descended to atarothadar near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether bethhoron and the border was drawn thence and the border went over from thence toward luz to the side of luz which is bethel southward and the border descended to atarothadar near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether bethoran and the border was drawn thence and compassed the corner of the sea southward from the hill that lieth before bethoran southward and the goings out thereof were at kirjath bal which is kirjath jerim a city of the children of judah this was the west quarter and the south quarter was from the end of kirjath jerim and the border went out on the west and went out to the well of waters of nephtoah and the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of hinnom and which is in the valley of the giants on the north and descended to the valley of hinnom to the side of jebusai on the south and descended to enrogel and was drawn from the north and went forth to en shemesh and went forth towards gililoth which is over against the going up of adumim and descended to the stone of bowen the son of reuben and passed along toward the side over against araba northward and went down unto araba and the border passed along to the side of beth hogla northward and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the salt sea at the south end of jordan this was the south coast and jordan was the border of it on the east side 
This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coasts thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, and beth and the valley of Kezis, and beth and Zemaraim, and beth and Avim, and Pharah, and Ophrah, and Kephar Hanomai, and Ophni, and Geba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Biroth, and Mizpeh, and Kephira, and Moza, and Rechem, and Erpiel, and Terala, and Zelaph, Eleph, and Jebusai, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath, and Kirjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Chapter 19 And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba, and Sheba, and Molada, and Hezarshual, and Bela, and Azim, and el Talad, and Bethuel, and Horma, and Zyklag, and Beth-Markaboth, and hazar and beth and Sharuhen, thirteen cities and their villages, Ain, Remon, and Ether, and Ashan, four cities and their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to Baalath Beer, Ramoth of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, for the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun, according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid, and their border went up toward the sea, and Merilah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jochnium, and turned from Sarid eastward toward the sun rising, unto the border of Chislothtabor, and then goeth out to Debarath, and goeth up to Japhia, and from thence passeth on along on the east to Gitarhefer, and to Itacazen, and goeth out to Remamethoar, to Nea, and the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthahel. And Keta, and Nehalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Chesaloth, and Shunem, and Hephraim, and Shihon, and Enaharath, and Arabeth, and Kashian, and Abaz, and Remeth, and Eganim, and Enhada, and Bethpazes, and the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shehazima, and Beth Shemesh, and the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, 
according to their families, and their border was Helkath and Helai, Betin and Akshaf, and Alamelech and Amad and Mishiel, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shihorblidnath, and to Shihorlibnath, and turneth toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon, and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jephthahel, toward the north side of Bethemek, and Nael, and goeth out to Cabul on the left hand, and Hebron, and Rehob, and Haman, and Cana, even unto great Zidon, and then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre, and the coast turneth to Hosa, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Exib. Uma also, and Aphek, and Rahab, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And their coast was from Helef, from Elon to Zananim, and Adamai, Nikab, and Jebneel, unto Lakum, and the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Esnothtabor, and goeth out from thence to Hokok, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fenced cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rakath, and Chinereth, and Adema, and Ramah, and Hazor, and Kadesh, and Idre, and Enhazor, and Iron, and Migdalel, Horim, and Bethanath and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtaol, and Ershemesh, and Shalabin, and Ajalon, and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnaheth, and Ekron, and Eltike, and Gibbethon, and Balath, and Jehud, and Beneberak, and Gathrimon, and Mejarkon, and Rakon with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them, and therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Lashem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Lashem Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua, the son of Nun, among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city, which he asked, even timnath in Mount Ephraim. And he built the city, and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances, which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, divided for an inheritance by lot 
in Shiloh, before the Lord, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Chapter 20 The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses, that the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city unto them, and give him a place that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. And until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days, then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and unto his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed, yeah. and they appointed Kadesh in Galilee, in Mount Naphtali, and Shechem in Mount Ephraim, and Kirjatharba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side, Jordan by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain, out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead, out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21 Then came near the heads of the fathers of the Levites, unto Eliezer the priest, and unto Joshua the son of Nun, and unto the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spake unto them at Shiloh, in the land of Canaan, saying, The Lord commanded by the hand of Moses to give us cities to dwell in, with the suburbs thereof for our cattle. And the children of Israel gave unto the Levites out of their inheritance, at the commandment of the Lord, these cities and their suburbs. And... The lot came out for the families of the Kohathites, and the children of Aaron the priest, which were of the Levites, had by lot out of the tribe of Judah, and out of the tribe of Simeon, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the children of Kohath had by lot out of the families of the tribe of Ephraim, and out of the tribe of Dan, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. And the children of Gershon had, by lot, out of the families of the tribe of Issachar, and out of the tribe of Asher, and out of the tribe of Naphtali, and out of the half-tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, thirteen cities. The children of Merari, by their families, had, out of the tribe of Reuben, and out of the tribe of Gad, and out of the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. And the children of Israel gave, by lot, unto the Levites, these cities, with their suburbs, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. And they gave out of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, these cities, which are here mentioned by name, which the children of Aaron, 
being of the families of the Kohathites, who were the children of Levi, had, for theirs was the first lot. And they gave them the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, with the suburbs thereof round about it. But the fields of the city, and the villages thereof, gave they to Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, for his possession. Thus they gave to the children of Aaron the priest Hebron, with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna with her suburbs, and Jatir with her suburbs, and Eshtemoa with her suburbs, and Holon with her suburbs, and Debir with her suburbs, and Ayan with her suburbs, and Judah with her suburbs, and Beth Shemesh with her suburbs, nine cities out of those two tribes, and out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with her suburbs, Geba with her suburbs, Anathoth with her suburbs, and Almon with her suburbs, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron the priests were thirteen cities, with their suburbs. And the families of the children of Kohath, the Levites, which remained of the children of Kohath, even they had the cities of their lot out of the tribe of Ephraim, for they gave them Shechem, with her suburbs in Mount Ephraim, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with her suburbs, and Kibzaim with her suburbs, and Beth Horon with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, Altica with her suburbs, Gibbethon with her suburbs, Ajalon with her suburbs, Gathrimon with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Tanak with her suburbs, and Gathrimon with her suburbs, two cities. All the cities were ten with their suburbs for the family of the children of Kohath that remained. And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half-tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan in Bashan with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Biestra with her suburbs, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishon with her suburbs, Debera with her suburbs, Jarmuth with her suburbs, and Ganim with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal with her suburbs, Abdon with her suburbs, Helkath with her suburbs, and Rahab with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Hamothadar with her suburbs, and Kartan with her suburbs, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites, according to their families, were thirteen cities with their suburbs. And unto the families of the children of Merari, the rest of the Levites, out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jachneum with her suburbs, and Karta with her suburbs, Timnah with her suburbs, Nahalel with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with her suburbs, and out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezir with her suburbs, and Jehaza with her suburbs, Kidimoth with her suburbs, and Mebtah in, and Mebtah with her suburbs, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead, with her suburbs, to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Mahanaim with her suburbs, Heshbon with her suburbs, Jazer with her suburbs, four cities in all. So all the cities for the children of Merari by their families, which were remaining of the families of the Levites, were, by lot, twelve cities. All the cities of the Levites within the possession of the children of Israel were 
40 and 8, with their suburbs. These cities were every one with their suburbs round about them. Thus were all these cities. And the Lord gave unto Israel all the land which he sware to give unto their fathers. And they possessed it, and dwelt therein. And the Lord gave them rest round about, according to all that he sware unto their fathers. And there stood not a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. There failed not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass.